okay. In the next section, we're going to get way more into how to actually use this stuff, how to practice it, how to apply it. But before we can do that, first we have to cover how to find your key. Right? How do we know what scale a certain song is using? If we can't find our key, if we can't find Do, then we can't really do anything else we talked about, right? We can't figure out what our chords are, we can't figure out where the melody is sitting. So being able to find the key for our song is very important. And in my mind, there's three main ways to do that. The most concrete way, the first way, is if you like using sheet music, you can literally look at the sheet music to find your key. Now I know not everybody uses sheet music. Some people use YouTube videos, some people have, you know, maybe a friend shows them a song or a teacher shows them, maybe you play by ear. And if you're one of those other people, just wait for the next two methods. If you do use sheet music, all you have to do is learn one rule for sharp keys and another rule for the flat keys. And the rule for any key that's using sharps, any sharp key, what you do is you look at the last sharp and then just go a half step higher. So for example, in this key signature we have two sharps. The last one is C sharp. So if I play that on the piano, it looks like this. To find my key, now all I do is go a half step higher, and I find that I'm in the key of D. And if you know your D scale, that checks out because the D scale has two sharps in it. One more example, this one has four sharps, and I'm just gonna look at the last sharp, which in this case is D sharp. Now D sharp on the piano, if I go a half step higher, I get E. So this would be the key of E, which has four sharps. For the flat keys, which is, again, any scale that uses flats instead of sharps, all you have to do is look at the second to last flat in the key signature. In this particular example, we have two flats, and the second to last flat is the B flat there. So this would mean that our song is in the key of B flat. It's using a B flat scale. Another example might be if I had four flats. Well, the second to last flat here is A flat, so that would be an A flat scale. Now, the only scale that this trick won't work for is the scale with one flat, because there's no second to last flat, there's just one. This one I typically recommend that people just try to remember, and this is going to be the F scale. We talked about this a little in the scale video, but the F scale has one flat built into it, which is the B flat there in that key signature. Okay, now what if you're not using sheet music, right? What if you picked any other method of learning a song and you don't have it written down in front of you? Well, what I recommend is looking at the very last note of the song. Typically, songs are going to end on Do. They're going to end on the first note of the scale. Not always, but a lot of the time they will. So, looking at the last note of the song gives you a great clue about what key you're in. And there's tons of examples I could show you because, again, most songs do this. If I play Thinking Out Loud by Ed Sheeran, and I get... That last note is D, and sure enough, this song is in the key of D. Similarly, if I play, I don't know, Piano Man, uh, and I do... That last note is C. So in this case, Piano Man would be in the key of C. It's that simple. And again, not every song does this, but a lot do. As a matter of fact, I would say most do. So looking at that final note really gives you a great picture of what key you're in. Now this last method is my favorite method. It's the most foolproof one, but it's also the most difficult. And it boils down to this. Just know your scales, right? So it takes a lot of time and practice, but once you know your scales, it doesn't matter where the song starts or ends or what it does, you can kind of just see, okay, if I have one flat, I know that that's my F scale because I've practiced the F scale over and over. And so if that's what my song is sort of sticking to, that's the key I'm in. For example, let's say I'm playing just the way you are. Okay, so I found that it was a lot of white keys except for this B flat. And that is exactly what you would see in the F scale. All white keys except for B flat. So again, not super useful in the short term, but if you've learned your scales, it's infallible. You'll know exactly what scale you're using the entire song. There is one last sort of curveball that gets thrown into all this, which is that up till this point, we've been talking about major scales and major keys. But a song can also be in a minor key. It can be using a minor scale as well. 
It's nothing to worry about, we're going to get to that in a future section that's coming up, but for now, let's keep going. Let's recap. We talked about the three different ways to find your key. Number one was looking at the key signature, if you like to use sheet music. Number two was looking at the last melody note or the last chord of your song. And lastly, just knowing your scales. Knowing what sharps and what flats are in certain keys so that you can compare it to the song that you're playing. Your action step for this video is to take two songs that you already know how to play and try to find the key for those songs. Try to figure out what scale that those songs are using. 